In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another example of maximum likelihood estimation. So let's suppose a light bulb producer wishes to estimate P, the probability that a certain type of light bulb burns out within 900 hours. Okay, this kind of probability would obviously be very important if you were going to, say, um, issue a warranty or try to compare your product to another company's product. Well, to test it, we're going to suppose that 500 bulbs are used for 900 hours each. And 31 of these bulbs burn out. What is the maximum likelihood estimation of P. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my pen pad here. So first of all, let's talk about a random variable. This is going to be a Bernoulli random variable because we're talking about whether or not a bulb burns out. And now I have 500 of these, but all 500 of these are just copies of the same thing. And we're going to give this random variable a value of 1 if the bulb burns out within 900 hours, and a zero otherwise. So we have a bunch of values. Maybe it didn't burn out, didn't burn out, didn't burn out, didn't burn out. Uh, maybe the first five didn't burn out, and then the sixth one burn out. Something of that sort. Okay, and I'm going to call these my observations. So that's x1, that's x2, that's x3. I'm getting a little bit behind, not lining up real well vertically. But those are my seven observations. So I'm giving them x and then the subscript of which place in the sequence that they fall. Well, maximum likelihood estimation says that we maximize the product from i equals 1 to n, in this case 500, because we did 500 observations, of the probability that the random variable x is little xi. This is what we actually saw happen. Okay. Well, in this case, 31 of the bulbs burned out. That means that, let's see, 469 of the bulbs did not. So what we're going to have is the probability that x equals 1 to the power of 31, since 31 of these factors are going to be a probability that x equals 1, and then the other 469 are going to be the probability that x equals 0. Well, now we're going to write this in terms of our parameter p, which we're trying to estimate. Well, that's the probability uh, that a certain type of light bulb burns out within 900 hours. So that's the probability that our random variable x is equal to 1. So we have p to the power of 31, and since this is Bernoulli, uh, the probability that x is the other value is just 1 minus p. So we have 1 minus p to the power of 469. So this is the expression we're going to maximize. And if you're up on your calculus, you can use the product rule and the chain rule um, somewhat straightforward uh, to, to maximize this function. However, what we're going to do in this class is use Wolfram Alpha. Okay, so we want to maximize, let's see, p to the power of 31 times 1 minus p to the power of 469. Okay, Wolfram Alpha is thinking about it. It did not find any global max. I did find a global maximum here. Now that is one nasty fraction, so let's go to approximate form. And we see the p is about 0 0.062. Um, and it, it turns out the p is actually exactly 0 0.062 if you use calculus to do this maximization. So it's sort of interesting that Wolfram Alpha can see that. So let's go back to the whiteboard here. So we see that if we want to maximize this expression, and that implies that our estimation for p, remember we put a little e here as a subscript to indicate it's an x estimate, should be about 0 0.062. And that makes a lot of sense. 
notice that that is 31 divided by 500. 31 of the light bulbs out of 500 failed, so the probability the light, light, that a light bulb fails is just going to be the proportion of those light bulbs that failed. So we see here, and we'll see in future examples, you'll see in some, some of the examples in the homework, the maximum likelihood estimation really usually does give a sensible result.